beautiful people and welcome back to another week in my and Jay's life basically. <laughs> Thank you for all those that said there was watching and that really meant a lot. I was having one of them moments where I was like, should I even carry on? Like, what am I actually doing? But it is really good. It's a massive confidence boost because obviously I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of my swollen face half the time. I don't even know how to look at the camera properly. But yeah, I hope we're bringing you some like informational content i know these like weekly vlogs are a bit different obviously but i do try and put videos out there that do help people and um, so there's a lot more coming so i've got my gluten-free one coming what we eat in two days i've got a week of outfits i've got um like a motivation one like things that motivate me and how to like motivate yourself and i want to do a lot more about that because i'm, I'm like a massive preacher on positivity and like how to get through things and one thing i will say what's really annoying me Obviously there's all this talk about like depression and anxiety and stuff. For me personally, like I have been through it a few years ago, which is not a surprise really because of all my medical stuff. But the simple fact is I don't believe people can offer advice if they've not actually been through it. Because it's just like, a lot of people are like, well get on with it, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. Depression is not being sad. It's a lot more than that and it's something that occurs, occurs over like a series of years, months, days, like... It just doesn't happen like that. It creeps up on you. Some people don't even know what's up. But honestly, the only way I can describe it is like a dark shadow. A dark shadow, like a dark cloud. You are on, honestly like, you're not in this world anymore. It like physically hurts, like pain. So I have this massive thing that I'm trying to get over. Like obviously some days I still suffer. But I keep seeing people and I can tell that they're going through it. And I take, I take their problems on and... All I want to do is fix people and I just need to get in my head that I can't and it's a really like it's a nice thing to have because I'm very em very like too empathetic towards people but then it becomes on my shoulders and then obviously the people I sat around myself as well I just want to help it's like I just see the good in everyone and oh sometimes it's really annoying I just wanted to come on and say that but yeah I've rambled so yeah they're the sort of videos I want to do um, so yeah, um, what else are we doing today? Well, I'm just going to cook um, like some chicken, um, like sesame seed chicken with some rice and things like that. That's what we got from Lidl. Um, and then Jay's doing editing today. I need to clean the house a bit. I'm still not very well because I went out drinking and well, I drank a lot and I shouldn't. So I'm still really puffy and stuff. But yeah, I'm just about to film some videos for you guys because I batch them. Um, so when I'm feeling like it, because I'm... I suffer with really, really bad anxiety and um, some days I just don't want to see people, talk to people or even leave the house. So the days that I am feeling like, woo, I like to, um... <coughs> also I'm coming down with a cold, which is not good for me. Don't worry guys, I don't think it's Corona, Jay's had a cold for ages. But luckily we've got like loads of alcohol gel and stuff like that, like people are literally fighting over it. But from dialysis we have like alcohol gel. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Why does this always happen? I always get so sidetracked. Uh, what was I saying? About what I was doing? Oh yeah, I'm just going to do some filming because I'm feeling up for it. And yeah, um, I will talk to you later. I might show you the dinner, so that should be cool. Um, but yeah, I love you all and thank you again. And I will see you at some point today. Also, I'm just about to have my breakfast now. This is a little update. I just wanted to remind you, if you are gluten free... Do not try any other crumpets other than these because they taste like absolute... Well, they're not crumpets. These are crumpets. They're really good. They're always sold out, but if you try like multiple Tesco's, you will find some. And they always only seem to have two packs left. And I always steal two packs. So yeah, just want you to update on that. So guys, this little sort has arrived because we sent some headphones. Well, he ordered some headphones here because he does um, editing like music on his laptop and stuff as one of his hobbies. is really, really good though. He can't hear a word I'm saying, which is amazing. You absolute beep, 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 beep. And you should beep, 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 beep. <laughs> so yeah, guys, these are them, look. So they're like silk inside. Oh God, he's listening to little peep. Should we zoom in on that face? Wait, I just realized I might get copyrighted now. I hope not. So what are your headphones called? So nice. Does it, what, what are your headphones called? I don't know what they, how you pronounce it. I think like Bayer Dynamic. DT770 Pro. Decent. Yeah, they're very nice. 
Um, what was I going to say? How much does it cost? Do you so the cost like seventy pound? No, they're like normally one hundred and twenty, but they're on sale currently for like ninety something. From Amazon, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're pretty good. I was really confused when Oswald's name came up. I thought it would be in your name. Yeah, because he's got Prime, so I just I just got him oh. to buy it for me. Why didn't you do? Oh, I couldn't. I'm broke. I've got Prime as well. Do you? Do you? Yep. I oh, couldn't live without my Prime. Oh, she said no. Yeah, right. I have Prime. But yeah, basically I've got these so I can start mixing and stuff on my laptop and mm. these are supposed to have like a very good flat You can hear little box. sounds on it, that's what Jay said, yeah? Yeah, 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 you can hear everything Yeah, I just told him you, your hobby is like making music on your computer Yeah, man, I like my computer Yeah, he's really good at it, but his computer's on the way out so you know if anyone wants to give him a new laptop Just a MacBook Yeah, just a MacBook a, then a Brand new one, 2020 model <laughs> It's only two grand Oh wow so guys, it's later on in the evening and like I said, I'll show you what I'm having to eat tonight. So I've just got some peppers, uh, well sweet peppers and curly kale in there for the veg. Then I've got some chicken, some seeds and fruits past me that. No, <laughs> the blue dragon sauce. And then I've got this because this is like the only one out of these that is actually gluten free if you want to focus Canon. Yep, yep, I don't want to focus, but you can vaguely see it. And then Farouz is the rice master because, well, there's a rule to it. And I don't like rules when cooking. I like to just do whatever. But according to him, say what you just said to me. There's a certain way to prepare rice. No, but a certain way what? To do everything. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but you can do chicken how you want, as long as it's cooked. No. You have to, if you want if you want to have fried chicken, you have to fry the chicken. Yeah, I understand I that, but you don't you don't know what I mean. Like, say if anyone in the world was bashing chicken in a pan mm -hmm. with seasoning and sauce, then surely there must be hundreds of ways to do it, and it's still going to taste decent. I don't know about hundreds of ways. Maybe a few, but it's not a hundred. Guys, he thinks he's a pro. Yeah. His mum's a good cook. I don't, I just don't know about him. Are you crazy? Not really, he's actually really good. The best thing he's good at though is cups of tea. He is really good at making cups of tea. Aww. Look at him with it's the rise, mon monitoring like a it's child. Not, it's not big enough, Jade. So what does this mean? Look, it's going to go over the top. Yeah, but you've cooked it three cups before. No, never. You but have, I, I honestly. I three cups. What are we going to do then, two pans? I only need to cook for another five minutes. Um, it might make it. <laughs> Look at the precision on his face. My you know rice. You're supposed to lift the, uh, lift the lid up. So why are you lifting it up? Because it's going to spill. Look. Just let it spill. Oh no, I don't want to let it spill. Turn it down? That's not going to help. It's already, it's already on one. It can't, it, can't, it can't go any lower. Is it? Yeah. My chicken's looking good though. I think it was too much rice. Oh well, we can eat for, for millions of days. You know when the corona hits and none of us can eat, we can just eat rice for days. No, this is just, this, this is just not going to taste right and you're not going to like it. Oh what? I like undercooked rice. Really? No, I like sticky rice. Sticky rice? Yeah, where it's sticky all like, rice. yeah, it's all sticky. That's what I wanted it to be, but... Right guys, I'll get back to you when the meal's done and there's no more rice drama. I'll let you know what happened. So guys, the rice has been turned off and it looks quite good actually. I was going to take the lid off and you was going to get scared Oh then. yes, I thought, I saw your hand go and I was like, no, don't do it again. <laughs> I time. always take the lid off and you're not meant to. So I've just put the veg in here on the other sachet of sauce. So it's looking quite nice. I like it quite... Yeah. We've just put a drop of water in it because the, the chef here said it was sticking to the side, so I like the colours, it looks really nice on camera, look. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Mm. Very colourful. Call me Nigella. Oh, I think looking even better with the rice. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's the update on the rice, and I'll show you when it's done. Oh, so the rice has turned out really good, actually. See, I told Thank you to have you. some faith. You're just putting some butter in it because... Just Tastes better. It just tastes better, yeah. Like if you've not tried butter with pasta as well, that's really good. So we're just gonna serve it now. And this is the the main dish. This is done by me, Chef Nigella Jade Ramsey. Bon appetit. Hoo hoo hoo. Just gave Jay a little bit because he said he's not that hungry. He's not been hungry for days. We're not sure why this is, it's not normal. But yeah. So this is the dinner. The lighting is absolutely terrible. Ooh, 
get them shots, the B-roll. Hmm. One last thing, I forgot to show you the bathroom, so we've actually painted it white now. It literally looks like a padded room. It is so, so white, like, I came in this morning, I nearly got blinded, like, as you can see. Also, I brought this cute thing yesterday. I can't remember if it's from the range or B&M. Um, but I literally, I took one of these out because it was pink. And I was like, yeah, I'll just have white. Because obviously I don't really want pink again, ever, in my house. So, cute. But yeah, it, I'm, I'm a lot happier with it. Jay's got bloody paint on the floor down there. Sorry about the mess. So yeah, that's the only update I've got to show you really. I'm waiting for some bits from Amazon to come. Like I've got one of these toilet roll things coming in black. And then I'm just going to replace everything with matte black and I might get a circle mirror like what's in my hallway. Right guys, it's Thursday. <coughs> I've not actually picked up my camera today. Um, I'm not sure why. I've just not been feeling it again. I don't even know if this is a vlog worth putting up. I don't know if I will. I don't know if I don't. I don't, I don't know if I don't, okay. I've literally just got out of the bath, done a face mask to try and make myself feel better. Um, my bathroom's finally done, so I'll show you that tomorrow. Um, which I'm happy with. I actually got a circle black mirror like it that's in my hallway, so I'm happy with that. So what did I do today? Went out to the pudding pantry with my mum for some breakfast. And then we went to Wilco's. I got some flower, not flowers, I got some... Baby, what's the flower things I got called? Oh, Pussy Willow from Wilco's. I hate saying that word, but that's what it's called. A lovely girl um, told me where she got it from. So I'm super happy with that. So that's in the bathroom. Um... I think that's all I've got to update you on. Oh, and the gluten-free and any breakfast in pudding pantry is amazing. Would recommend. And this is me with a completely natural face. So, if you want to throw up, go ahead. No. So, me and Jay are just about to make spaghetti bolognese. And then we're going to put me on dialysis. And tomorrow I'm going to Sheffield. So, I will vlog that and I'll make that more of the bulk of the vlog. And we're going to Sheffield and Primark, get some food. Just been able to spend the day with Louisa because I don't really see her often because she's always at work. That's what happens when you're a nurse, you know, all that overtime. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hey guys, um, so like I said, we are on our way to Sheffield. I think I told you last night when I updated on you on what I did. So we're just in the car. How far are we away? About 15 minutes. About 15 minutes the weather is like in and out but I shall see you when we get there let's talk about Louise's little cute outfit the booties the leather trousers the oversized shirt the Louis V you want to take your coat? Yeah, but you'll be hot when we're shopping. Oh, you're not? Okay. Guys, I'm just in a bloody cardigan. Have you got a cardigan with you? Are we going up them stairs? Why is someone screaming? Can you hear that? Now go. Guys, these smell really nice. These Kat Von D perfumes. A new lightweight foundation. Because we didn't end up going to Topshop first, we just walked past it. We're going to go to the Primark then Topshop. But we're in Zara now. I think this is super cute. I love white though, don't I? Ooh, that bag's cute. Love this dress. It's like silky, okay. how much are you? 49 pound, that's really, really nice. And what we got here, this looks like it needs a bit of the iron though. And it like that. What you found? Oh, that's nice. So I don't, I don't know if I like the fabric though. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. Oh, the white one's really pretty. I like this jumper. I've wanted it for a while, actually. Guys, this dress is super, super cute. So it's like a little shirt dress, but it's like peplum. Peplum, peplum. What do you call this, though? Like the frills? 
So that's £25, but I really like that. Louisa likes this neon dress. Huh. Reminds me of Holiday in Tenerife. Yeah, do you remember? Oh, I like that white t-shirt. I love a good white t-shirt, mate. It's quite thick as well. Just the basic section. That's a nice little crop. I don't know why my boobs fall out the side of them though. Like, I, I, oh, I might do one. No, the thing like. is, but why do they on the racer front? A little cowboy shirt. Frills. I feel like frills have never left Zara in like years. Oh, it's my top I've got on. <laughs> yeah, I've got it on. That bodysuit's nice as well. Yeah, look. So guys, I've got this. Let me. I just want to see it. I'm not on you. No what do you mean not on me? Everything is different on everyone. Yeah, that's cute. That is. Why don't you get one? Is it only eight pounds? Yeah. Joking. So guys, she said she didn't like it on me, but you know. No, I said this. Because my trousers are halfway down my rim. Guys, look how nice this place suit is. But it's got a really like low V-neck on it, so it'll look nice on you though, Lou. I think. Fantastic. Also these cute dresses. Sorry guys, it's really hard to vlog, like there's loads of people in here. Hey so guys, in the, the chef, oh god, I've got my coffee. Yeah, so you put it in the basket. It's so check out, how amazing is this? Has hers gone now? Quite confusing. But how good is this? place it in the basket and and my order went in hers we're just in paper chase now and they've got such cute stuff even for home like look at this and then these little these are really on trend right now cute and then this little eye mask with oil and then they've got these i used to love making these i think these are magnets coasters they're so nice see what lou's doing Here. We're looking for stuff from Mother's Day as well, guys, so. <gasps> Grandma never to the moon and back. Oh, that's nice. I want to get Grandma or something. I might for Mum. Oh, from Amelia. How much is it? That's really nice, that bag. The Primark, this is what we came for, because we can never find anything in ours. Where's the women's section? Should we get a basket? Yes. Apparently the women's section is downstairs. So that's interesting. Ooh, I'm excited. These little cute vest tops are three pounds. So you've got pink stone. Just put the hanger back up there. You don't need it. Yet. And the white ones. <clears throat> yeah, that is really nice. You're getting both. You've already got it in white, haven't you? Guys, I'm just looking for the homeware section. Green. You're getting that one as well. You know sometimes you got a pair of jeans that yeah. aren't quite high waisted. Yeah. And you can't wear a crop with it. Yeah. Because you've got your midriff. Midriff. What like me right now? <laughs> Louisa likes this, really cute. I've gone off from the really itch me. I don't know why. How much are they? Eight pound. Eight pound. Mm. It's very good. I want to go to that section. Nudes. Oh, that's a cute little top. Bodysuit. Oh, yeah, there's the long ones, look, of them. Yeah, they're the ones that would irritate you. I do like this bow for my hair, though. Can you see it? See, they've got a knitted top in here. That's, that's lovely. That's eight pounds. Guys, I love these bows. Imagine how cute that would be like in the spring with a little dress. What else we got? Mmm, <laughs> that's what I mean. Louise is stocking up on the crop tops. <laughs> oh, this colour, like, I'm literally mad on this colour right now. It's so nice. It's like minty green. I've already got a suit though from it. I like that shirt as well. It's got like puffs. The guys have got these shoes. I've already got these ones. I think I might have showed you. I'm not sure. I have got some clothes to come in and they've got the black ones now. So I'm trying to be good. I'm just looking for homeware. <laughs> what we got over here, the rest of the section. A lot of this type of neckline about. 
This is cute. Short. Guys, look at this. Marnie Louisa's second name. <laughs> oh, it is nice stuff actually. So guys, we're just in the changing rooms. I'm just gonna try on these trousers in a size six. I thought it was really nice. I've got some from Zara last year, but in a different color. These are obviously primer, they're exactly the same. Like, I'll try them on Louise's in the other changing rooms. <clears throat> I like this top as well. I've got this to try on, but I don't like the sleeves on it, so I'm not gonna get it. Hey guys, I'm back from Sheffield. We did really well actually, we was only there for five hours, that's including Nando's, which I'll insert the footage before, in, before. and then I'm gonna show you what I got from Primark and Zara. We didn't really go anywhere else. We had a look in Topshop, but some woman kept sneezing over me, and with my health stuff, I was like, no. So I literally legged it to like three hours down, and then I bumped into someone, and I was like, I need to get out of here. So, because I actually keep coughing and sneezing, so I'm quite worried. Whew. Right, I'll show you what I got from Primark first. So nothing too fancy. I got this long line cardigan, uh, which was £10. I got that in a large, so it's quite long. Because of my outfit today, I'll show you. So I've got like these flared trousers on, which are a bit tight. I've ordered them in a size 8, and then just this like white strappy top. It went really well with that, and what I was wearing just looked stupid. Even though, Zara, my nipples keep falling out of this. What's wrong with you? Okay, so I got some sheer tights, which have run out. We've got this beautiful tray. This was like 4 50 Let me see if the price is on it. Yeah, 4 50 I thought that would look really nice in my white bedroom. I got this bra set, which I've wanted for a while. I only wear white underwear, so I thought it was super nice. It's ribbed. They had them in like a really nice green, like a pinky colour. And I got this... Um, foundation in cinnamon just for like my contour because I really like cream contour and I've heard this is really good and then just a brush and then also because I'm pathetic I got some hand sanitizer bottles well no they're just normal travel bottles Jade look with these on but there was only 150 and I instead of carrying my big hospital hand sanitizer on me I thought I could take these out so yeah that's what I got from Primark I'll show you what I got from Zara now so I got let me move these out of the way I got this jumper Oh, I just wanted to see if you wanted to come and see my clothes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So I got this jumper. Like this. And it said, okay. focus on the good things and forget about the rest. I thought that was it's really nice. about, just let's forget the rest. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's my dyslexia coming in, reading words that aren't there. And I got that in a large. What's this all about? At least 50% of ecologically grown cotton mm. you know in primark they had tops more that were sustainable would, yeah like every Doing shop what? even um primark mm -hmm. they had t-shirts made completely from sustainable cotton what and it was four pounds well, this is only a part so. yeah but 50 percent is better, better than none than better than but yeah i thought that was really nice and I've, the yeah the color is really nice and i got it in a large because because i like chucking things on and then next thing i got this little bodysuit which is ripped and it's got like lace down it, and I really like the like ruching in here. Oh, I might borrow this. You might borrow it. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Do you like it? <laughs> and then this, which is my favourite. So this was only 90. Nice. I like these. Yeah, 99. Yeah, baby. No, look, it crosses like that. Yeah, and then ties. Like and then ties, ties, yeah. Perfect. So I thought that was really nice. I'll show you this on now. I am doing um, like a get dressed with me for the week ahead on um, every Sunday, hopefully. I'm just going to buy the clothes reel now because the one I ordered on Amazon didn't come. Rude. Rude. Took the money though, didn't they? Yeah, but they gave me it back. I got it back yeah, the other day. Yeah. So yeah. So guys, this is the jumper on. 
I actually really, really like it. It doesn't look too bad with the trousers, actually. Oh, it's so snuggly. Like, if they had any... I don't know, I just really like this colour. It's a bit different. Because it's not black. Like, I'm not a massive fan of wearing black because I just feel like I blend into the background, which I want to do, but regarding my clothes, I don't. So, super cute. And when that's, like, washed, it shouldn't shrink too much because I've got it in large. Perfecto. Let's live by this comment rule rules. <laughs> Let's live by this comment, guys. And this is oh, we can all that bit. <laughs> this is the bodysuit. I, I quite like the front. It like looks really nice. Baby, come and look at the bodysuit. Apart from you can see my nipples. I apologise about that. I don't even know if that's inappropriate for YouTube, but yes, that's it. it kind of looks like a swimming costume. I like it. But it's really well fitted. I absolutely love the detailing here. Yeah, so this will definitely be going on my rail. Good purchase. Morning, guys. So we're just getting. Well, it's not even morning. Why am I saying morning? So it's fall. It's twenty past three. It's twenty past three, and I'm like morning. And um, we're just getting ready to go to IKEA. Um, because I'm gonna be honest with you, I need cheering up. My face is really chubby today, so I'm not happy about that. But I just want to show you my outfit. So I got a little leather skirt on, this cute, I think I showed you this yesterday, what I got. I just rooked it up, it's really awkward, but yeah, I really like it, and it just kind of sits like that. So, I'll probably see you in Ikea to give you a little show around, but if there's anything new in, I'll show you, because I'm sure people, but people do message me like, could you do a full Ikea thing, but um, I don't know, it's difficult when you're looking at yourself, isn't it? But yeah, that's the OOT of the day. So guys, we're just in the car, and um, we're going to pick up my friend, um, and then Bree, I know you're watching, we're going to pick you up. <laughs> so, um, that's all I've got to say. Who remembers this song? I can only play like two seconds, wait. So guys, it's Sunday night, I've just got out the bath, um, I had to call an ambulance, uh, well I called them last night, they didn't come um, because of this stupid virus because I couldn't breathe again, I do have a sore throat but that's probably just a cold off Jay, but um, I keep getting like really bad breathing problems, it's probably because of my condition, but they didn't seem to really care and I really do feel for, sorry for anyone who has anything serious going on because... The world is absolutely screwed up right now. Um, my food order got um, sent back to me basically. So I ordered a food shop. Baby, when did I order a food shop? Yeah, so I ordered one Friday to come first in the evening. Um, it's been cancelled. So now Jay has to go to the shops and get it. Um, I've been told today that I need to self-isolate. So, so Jay's got to go to the shops because we've got no food. But... He can just strip and stuff like that when he gets in. Um, you can hear my breathing now. But um, yeah, that's all I've got to say really. I'm not going to say much on here because obviously it's just so controversial and stuff. But just bear in mind that people with medical conditions and the elderly, you can't leave them with nothing. So just bear that a, a thought in mind because those who don't have vulnerable family or anything like that they will probably recover very quickly from it and probably won't even know that they've got it but yeah okay perfect so yeah that's about it i just wanted to say bye and i hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog it's been absolutely all over the place because well everything's all over the place at the moment but i have a beauty favorites coming up i think I did do a week of outfits, but I don't actually like the look of it, so I'm going to work on that. And whoo, and I will see you hopefully next week. All being well, I am going to the hospital tomorrow. My nurse, my lovely nurse, she was actually off work. She, I emailed her because obviously one 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 are useless, and also my ward's useless, which I use for um, like kidney stuff and things. Um, so. They're useless, so she's got. She's speaking to my consultant tomorrow about my breathing, and hopefully we can do something about it. But it's probably just muscle weakness from my cystinosis because it has been going on since I think I reported it about a month ago. Getting really bad, like you can feel it creeping up, but it's 
it's very up and down so where I don't know if anyone else does this you know when something goes away for a tiny bit even a few hours and it's not constant you're like oh I can deal with it but when something gets more constant and more severe you're like no but it's just bad timing but yeah so I will stop rambling as usual I'm sorry about the state of me like wow <laughs> why am i on camera like this just keeping it real just keeping it real um yeah so i will see you next week guys mm.